Working for yourself from home has its ups and downs, just like any other business. But the thing that we love from making decals is that one week you might have no leads or projects and work a few hours for a couple of days. And then suddenly you get five projects in one week that leaves you thousands. Even though for every project we rarely spend more than 5 hours, but still make more money than we used to back when we had a job. You get to set your own schedule, you work at your pace, and get to spend more time with the family, but of course it comes with a price. And the price is, it takes years of dedication and persistence, just like we did. In today's episode, we will talk about the beauty of making decals and also give you some tips, of course, because according to our data, there is a significant number of people that are following us who either have no clue what type of business they should start from home or they just want to do it as a side hustle. But either way, you can go wrong by starting a decal business. So here's a couple of things to consider before you do. But before we continue, I invite you guys to give us a like if you like this video and subscribe if you are new to this channel. So let's begin. If you are a young entrepreneur who wants to find a side hustle or other ways to make money by making decals, but you don't want to invest much in a very expensive machine, well, let me show you what we have done with our Cameo 4, which is a cheap vinyl cutter that barely costs $300. But of course, you will need other investments on equipment and tools. But in the end, keep this in mind. You get what you pay for. I will leave a video in the end of all the things that you can make with this machine. Now, if you want to take things serious and do this full time like we do and make big projects like this, you will need a bigger machine like the Graftec CE6060 or the newest version, which is the Graftec CE7060. But you can use any other vinyl cutter that is at least 24 inch big or bigger like the titan which is a 28 inch vinyl cutter but you can also use the cameo pro which is a 24 inch vinyl cutter no matter what machine you get you will always need a computer and a software to vectorize your images we use corel draw 6 and the machine, the Graftec CE6060, which is a 24 inch vinyl cutter and vinyl Oracle 651, which is the most common one that we use. The CM3 is the software that comes with your vinyl cutter, which helps cutting the designs. And whenever you are making big decals like this one, make sure you do a scan to make sure that you have plenty of room especially with big decals like this one in case of something goes wrong so you don't ruin it and another thing is that we always add the waiting boxes that you are watching here to making the waiting process much easier especially when you are working by yourself this makes the process faster and easier for you so you can focus on one area then you can focus on the other area another way for you to making the waiting process easier is to not use or compromise with very difficult fonts try to use clear fonts and ones that are bold enough so that way when you are waiting out it's easier for you and the transfer we're gonna use for transferring the decal into the surface will be the Arte Clear Choice AT75. Whenever you sell decals and ship them out and the customer is gonna be in charge of doing the application, make sure you apply the transfer as perfect as you can and don't send it with wrinkles. And this is the best way to do it since we got plenty of hands. But if you work alone and you don't have enough hands to help you, you can use the application rollers that you are watching here. You can find all the links and tools that we talk about on this video below on the first comment or on the description of this video. And remember, it only takes practice to master anything. 
Now, here's an approximate estimate of how much you need to invest if you want to start a decal business in 2023 when you get the Cameo 4, which is the 12 inch vinyl cutter. And the cutter costs around $300. The software, it all depends if you want to get Corel Draw, which is the one that we use, or if you want to use the free version of Silhouette Studio, you will not have to spend money on it. Of course, it is better when you have more tools and a computer, an approximate of $400, depending on the brand or if you get a used or refurbished computer. There's a lot of good ones out there. And the vinyl roll that requires for this size is the 12 inch and if you get the vinyl roll that is 12 inch by 120 feet of vinyl cost around 70 dollars and a transfer the at65 which is the 12 inch for 300 feet cost around 76 dollars the application roller that we use to align the vinyl or to apply the transfer into the vinyl cost around $74. That is the 28 inch. And the total investment, it is an approximate $920. But of course you need to consider tax and shipping. And the settings for cutting vinyl for decals is speed at six, blade at three, and the cut force at six also depends on how much you use your blade. We always encourage some tests before you start cutting your designs. Other investments like weeders, squeegees, and tools that you will need are also to be considered and also other colors of vinyl. Now, if you want to make more money by working on bigger projects like this one, you will need to invest on a bigger machine and an approximate estimate of how much you need to invest for the new version of Graphtech CE7060 cost around $1,900. The software, which is CorelDRAW, the new version cost around $469. A computer still around $400 depending on the brand. And the vinyl roll size is the 24 inch and the 30 feet or 10 yard roll cost around $29. The transfer, which is the AT75 transfer roll and a 100 yard or 300 feet cost around $129. The application roller is optional. If you want to get it to apply your own transfer, it costs around $74. And the total investment, it is $3,001. Again, this is before tax and considering shipping too. The settings for this machine is speed 36, half set 0, and cut force 11. It also depends how new or how old the blade is. Always do your own test before cutting big designs. Now, this is what's going to help you grow your decal business by advertising on social media like Facebook groups, Instagram, and TikTok. Also, try to do online sales like on eBay and Etsy and other places where you can sell decals. Another way is that we always mention is to print some business cards and always give them to your customers or whenever you make a sale. So that way they can spread the word for you from word of mouth. Another way for you to sell car decals that we have not mentioned is by selling t-shirts because sometimes t-shirts can lead to decal projects. As you know, many companies know other companies and they can spread the word for you depending on how well you did their project. And that is how we get leads. Pricing car decals depend a lot on how big the project is, the type of material that you use, the labor based on your local area and how simple or difficult the project is going to be. If you like to use our formula by using our calculator for pricing this type of projects, you can use it by joining our RDI Gold membership and you can join by clicking on the join button below on this video or any other video. This will be a good way to support us. We'd really appreciate it. So there you guys have it. One of the best decisions we ever made was to start a decal business. So that way we get to work from home 
and do the things that we love to do to spend time with the family so if that is something that you're looking to do we recommend that you do some more research on this type of business but just keep one thing in mind everything takes time and dedication and there is plenty of information out there that you can find if you want to find another way for you to make money you do not have to choose this type of business but we really wish that you find what you're looking to do but all i can say is if it wasn't for this machine and this business i will not be here talking to you right now i will still have my regular job as a server and i'm glad i choose and decided to go for this business because if it wasn't for that I will not be sitting down in the counter enjoying my coffee and rather be on the other side of this counter. Thank you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give us a like and subscribe. We will see you guys again on the next episode. Thank you.